Welcome to episode number 10, where we will discuss why we use 4 to 20 milliamps in industry instead of voltage signal. So let's get started. The physical signal, such as a temperature, are com uh, comes from the, the physical system itself in the field, for example, 0 to 10 bar or temperature signal, uh, into a sensor. It gives an electrical signal or a resistance, and then a transmitter converts this uh, signal here to 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volts or any other electrical signal to the PLC or DCS. But how can uh, the, the microcontroller or PLC read the uh, current signal? And now electronics use analog to digital converters to convert voltage signals to digital numbers which are understandable by the CPU. Uh, uh, now as for current signals, they are converted to voltage signals like this. This is the measuring device. It has a 250 ohms resistor. Now, when a 4 milliamps times 250 ohms equals 1 volt, and 20 milliamps times 250 ohms equals 5 volts. And this one goes to the analog to digital converter for conversion. Now, why do we use the 4 to 20 milliamp uh, current signal instead of voltage? The main reasons are First, drop voltage. For a very long cables, which are the standard in industry or, or any plant, uh, these have resistances in them. And this will make a, a drop voltage in the wire. Now, uh, before the signal uh, goes into the measuring device, it will be changed. However, currents do not have this issue. Uh, electromagnetic interference, we know that currents are more robust against the noise comes from them. Now, can detect open circuit. Now, if you consider zero volts or ground to be the minimum reading, you cannot determine if you actually read zero percent from your sensor or actually the, uh, the, uh, the wire is cut or open circuit. And this is why four milliamps is the minimum. Thus, zero milliamps will mean an open circuit. Now, let's go to circuit simulation and see what we have talked about. This is 5 volts, goes into the measuring device. It is uh, 250 ohms, and it is 5 volts. However, if we add a wire resistance right here of, say, 10, uh, 10 ohms, and we try to simulate again, now 5 volts comes from the, uh, the transmitter, and it reaches the uh, measuring device at 4.8 volts. Thus, we have lost accuracy. While if you consider this current signal right here, this is a 20 milli, uh, milliamp current, and it is converted to 5 volts because it passes through the 250 ohms. Doing the exact same method right here, this is the, the, the long wire resistance. Simulate it again. This is uh, here uh, is uh, 5.2 volts, and we have converted it to 5 volts. So the, the, the transmitter power source could actually compensate for any drop voltage that happens along the, the, the wire. And uh, thank you for watching.